Yeah, it's time to start the show Off the top rope, four figure leg lock Ric Flair with the chest chop Hater is wonder why I never tap out A young king like Demarcus Undertaker with a coffin Choke slam so often Stone Cold Steve Austin Man the boy keep flossing Man the boy keep talking I'm with David I'm the same Wrestling with Things podcast, the talk show on all things entertainment and sports, sports and entertainment. David Joseph here, joined by the usual suspect, my partner in crime, Sammy Joseph. And we got a very special guest joining us today on the show. This guy is very near and dear to our hearts. He's like a brother. He is a sports enthusiast, anime enthusiast, gamer. Lifelong gamer, I'm telling you, he'll smack any of you, you know what's in any game. Collegiate student, Jeffrey Presumi, my cousin. How are you, man? Um, I'm amazing, man. I want to thank you first for the opportunity, you know, get on the show, talk about some current things, you know. Uh, with that, that being said, let's get this started, man. All right, man, that's what I like to hear. Let's get right to the subject at hand. Breaking news, if you haven't been living under a rock, I'm sure you have heard about it. Kyrie Irving is going to the Boston Celtics. A lot of people in this region, in Massachusetts, in our region, are very stoked and excited, and rightfully so. The trade was Kyrie Irving going to the Celtics for Isaiah Thomas, a protected first-round pick. And that rookie international center, I'm not even going to pretend I know his name or how to pronounce it. Guys, we have to talk about this because this happened so fast. I, I got the notification that it was serious talks and the next thing you know, bam, the deal is done. Jeffrey, our guest today, drop some knowledge on us. Who do you think won in this trade and how do you feel about it? You like it? You love it? Somewhere in between? Well, first of all, when when you think about the trade, I think what's most important is to you know forget about the LeBron and the Celtics storyline and see this is a a big win for the city of Cleveland, you know, because whether LeBron leaves or not, everyone just thinks they're going to be in shambles. But now they got a pick, they have Ante, they have It. So even if LeBron leaves, they have the arm room to say, you know. They kind of weathered yeah. the storm. Yeah, okay. I, I, you know, everybody seems like they either think Celtics totally lost or Cleveland totally lost. Where I'm at with this, I think regarding the circumstances, Kyrie asking for a trade. Isaiah Thomas going on the last year of his deal before mm -hmm. he wants a max. And the fact that you really could not let them start the season and have LeBron and Kyrie on the team. So I think regarding the circumstances of both teams, combined with the fact that the Celtics needed that one superstar that could take them over the hump, I think with the circumstances, they both did the best they can do in mm -hmm. to get in return and kind of stay at a high level. Sammy, how do you feel about these transactions? Well, well when, I see, when I seen this, I, I said, uh, well, one thing about Danny Ainge, I always give him the respect because he always does think long term. So, mm -hmm. you see someone like Kyrie, what is he, about 24, 25? 25, yeah. Exactly, and IT's a lot, well, he's not a lot, but he's old. He's 28. Yeah, still, he's, yeah. He's, he's, hitting, he's hitting that third That's ball. still less prime yeah. is, yeah. And now you got Kyrie, who, who's, who still smells like Slimilak, but can still boogie on any player he wants to. And you got him with the hip injury that happened to Isaiah Thomas, I think that's what the long term he was thinking. I said he had to make the move because mm -hmm. it's a big question mark if we're gonna get that same guy we've seen that carried them to the Eastern Conference. Yeah, especially because he's a smaller player and hip injuries could be serious at times. I'm, I'm sure or it has de actually derailed quite a few players in the past. I gotta ask, I I'm gonna leave this one to you, Sammy. I gotta ask you first, do you think this move now makes the Celtics the best team from top to bottom in the Eastern Conference or the Cavaliers? Well, I, I do with with Gordon Hayward and, and Kyrie on the same 
you know, team now. It's 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 kind of a weird mix, but I think it will work enough for them to get the first place in seed. But however, when it comes to playoffs, it it's LeBron James. You know, he knows what to do in that situation. He knows how to get to the finals, no matter what. So. Especially with, you know, him resting all the time and, you know, him taking the easy road. <laughs> so, uh, he will he will get past it. Who do you think? Do you, do you think this makes the Celtics the clear-cut best team? Yeah, I think the Celtics, without a doubt, on paper, are better than the Cleveland Cavaliers. But, you know, just like Sammy said, when playoff time comes, but the, the offset to that now is we have Kyrie. Kyrie, Kyrie can He's close. a playoff performer. Yeah, he's a playoff performer. They just got to work on, you know, getting their rim protection up, you know, defending against LeBron. Defend, defensive yeah. rebound. Rebound, yeah. 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 Rebound. I think it was like about 27th maybe that they yeah. ranked last year. I, I think, I know it sounds crazy. I'm not betting against LeBron because he is still pound for pound the all-around best player in the NBA. But I think this move, it's its more than just what a lot of people are saying. It's more than just switching Isaiah for Kyrie, switching a score for mm-hmm. scorer. I think, number one, you got a proven finals performer and a champion. Mm-hmm. Number two, his talent in ball handling is a knock above Isaiah Thomas. Isaiah Thomas is great, but... Those extra inches and size matters, and Kyrie is deceptively strong, guys. This is the reason why he finishes at the rack the way he does. He's deceptively strong, and he's not small at all. I I think this move is more than switching these guys' numbers. I think now, with a motivated Kyrie Irving, with all this turmoil that happened with LeBron, he's going to be out to prove a point. A la Russell Westbrook with Kevin Durant. Mm-hmm. He, the same way Russell Westbrook went out of his way to get those triple doubles, I think Kyrie Irving will go out of his way to Drop carry 30. the load. I think he'll drop there. Well, I think he's going to leave the league in points. Well, I, I think that's going to be his mental goal. He, well, he may not come out and say it, but I think that would be his goal. And he's a scoring machine. I could see him doing I see your point. I see your point. But, well, what I can say to that is... And then you still got Tatum and Morris. They, the is team's my, ready-made. It is. And Brad Stevens a great it coach. Is. He'll make Kyrie the best. He'll make Kyrie and Gordon Hayward the best basketball players they've been it, up to this point. It is point. true. But, well, like I, like I said, the hip... The hip Injury to Isaiah Thomas is only a question mark. Right. Like, yeah. let, let's say he comes back the same way he did last season. I still and, think and he has something. You're trade. forgetting he has something to prove too. The Celtics just shipped him off like he was a nobody yeah. after getting them to his, his the best season they had since the big three ever. They, I, you, you think I, about I, that? I, I ain't mad at that, but we know what type of business the <laughs> NBA is, man. There ain't no friends in business. There is man. no friends, but they like, do what they you know, he has he has a lot on his shoulders too. After all of that, like let's say he does come back strong, and now he has somebody like LeBron about to do the same thing he did for Kyrie with him, because he can score loads too. Uh, absolutely, yeah, they, definitely. He 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 played his heart out for the Celtics, literally. Even after the unfortunate passing of his sister, if you think the Cavaliers won in this trade, feel free to look, get in on the conversation. Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to us at Wrestling with Things and like our page on Facebook at Wrestling with Things.